Alright guys, so now we're signed up with HostGator. This is very important. They're going to send you an email with your account info. It's going to look something like this. You're probably on maybe Google or Yahoo. I use a lot of different emails for different accounts with different services, but I signed up with my Juno. But anyway, basic message is going to say, hello, whoever you are, thanks for ordering HostGator. You can log into our billing system. We're not going to worry about that right now. What we need that's very important from this email, and save this email, do not delete it, make yourself a copy that you save on your computer, you're going to need your control panel. There's a link right here. That's how you're going to get into cPanel. We're going to get into a cPanel in a different tutorial. It's very easy, simple stuff. But that's how you're going to access your website and install everything. And then you're going to need your password. They're going to give you yourself, themselves. It's going to be a random string of letters and numbers and symbols and stuff. But you've got to save it because you're going to need that password and this username from this email to get into this control panel login. The other two things that are very important that you need to save are first name server and second name server. It's going to be a random bunch of numbers and letter jumble dot hostgator dot com. You're going to have two different ones. You're going to need to save both of these whole strings right here. This whole letter and number dot hostgator dot com. Save that. And the second letters and numbers dot hostgator dot com. Save that too. And I'm going to explain, we're going to use the first and second name servers on Namecheap right now in the next tutorial.